a lot of the criteria to get even into playable is actually fairly strict. Like, there's a lot of games that... A lot of games that are being marked as unsupported, which are not unsupported. Like, they just aren't perfectly playable on the Steam Deck. But the way that I initially thought it would work is games that didn't perfectly meet the criteria would just drop down into playable. Um, but if we go to the unsupported list right now, uh, here we go. Uh, P4G, I know why that's there. But Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This works really, really, really well under Linux. Like, actually really well. So the fact that it's here really doesn't make any sense to me. Same with Duck Game. Duck Game, from what I know, works really well as well. Um, Nekopara? Also, like, Nekopara Volume 2 and Volume 3 also work really well under Linux. Why they're not on playable is beyond me. Like, I get why it's not in Verify, because these games probably don't have, um, probably don't have really good control or support, and maybe the text is too small. But in that case, you would drop it down to playable. Batman Arkham Asylum. Actually, let's see what this one has on... I'm, I'm pretty sure the Nekapara games all have either gold or, uh, platinum rating. But I'm not sure what uh, Arkham Asylum has. I want to say it has a gold rating. Arkham. Arkham. Silver. Uh, yeah, it's silver. So, like, it's probably perfectly playable. Uh, what else do we have here? Ultimate Doom. I don't know about that one, actually. That's probably on that list because it doesn't have control of sport or doesn't play... Yeah, probably doesn't play... Um, it probably has too small text or something like that. But we're seeing a lot of games... What do you mean Ender Lilies is on this list? Wait, what? I am on unsupported, aren't I? Yes. Okay, this list is really strict. Why is Ender Lilies... Can we see why? Does it tell us why? Uh... Do, 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 do. I don't know where it would tell us. I've played through all of Ender Lilies. This game, I'm pretty sure, has a platinum rating over on Proton DB. Yeah, it's platinum. I don't know why this isn't marked as playable. See, this is what I mean. There is a lot of games making their way onto the unsupported list which are not unsupported whatsoever. Like, literally at all. TIS 100 also works really well on the Linux. Uh, that one might have an input problem, though, so I can understand that one. Uh, what else do we have? Pavlov VR. It's VR games. Makes sense. Uh, sleeping Dogs? Sleeping Dogs. Okay, that one makes sense. I haven't. Uh, it's got a bronze. Um... Halo MCC, I know why this one's here. That one's there because of the um, the anti-cheat problem. Uh, Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2 has a gold. Once again, another game that should be marked as playable. I kind of wish they said why a game didn't get marked as playable because many of these games should be. Uh, DBZ Kakarot. Dragon Ball Z. Kakarot. Platinum. What are we even talking about with this list? Uh, Final Fantasy IX. Let's have a look. Final Fantasy IX. Gold. <laughs> uh, this, I, I know that, I know that Neptunia V2 has a I think it's at least a silver. Last time I checked, it may have gone up. Neptunia V2. Silver. Okay. Uh, and I I haven't played that under Linux yet, but from my understanding, it should play perfectly fine. Um, 
Maybe that one makes sense why it's under why it's under unsupported though. And there's just so many on here. Uh World at War. World at, I don't think World at War even used anti-cheat. That was like too old of a game. Oh, it did. Punk Buster. Uh that makes sense. Um P5S I know doesn't work right now. That one uh ha I think has the same problem that no, I think it's a no. It has a different problem than Golden has because Golden, um, Golden didn't work because of cutscenes. This game, I don't think, works in the in the gameplay. Yeah, this one just doesn't work altogether. Um, East Origin, that's another one. Like East, there's a couple of East games on this list. Gold, like what? What? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Monstrum Nox! Tales of Bazaar- Like, I'm just gonna keep <laughs> I can just keep going through this list because it's really, really ridiculous. Like, many of these games, uh, it freezes often enough to be frustrating. Uh, you're the one person- Yeah, you're the one person who has a problem. Okay. Everyone else seems to be doing fine. Um, Tales of Bazaria. Like, I can just keep going through this list and I have no idea- Tales of Beasteria. Um, <laughs> I have no idea why some of these games are on this list. Genuinely no idea. If someone has an art, tie this in Tiger 2. If anyone has a, a explanation for why some of these games are marked as unsupported, I would genuinely love to know. Because all of these games, if I was in charge of doing the rating system, uh, a good number... Didn't Black Ops 2 literally have a patch to fix its problems? Okay. Um, I would have a lot of these games. A lot of these games in the playable section instead. Uh, Yakuza 4. Gold. So you know what? This list might may possibly do more harm. Uh, do more harm. Do more harm than good. <laughs> Fuck, that was bad. <sighs> so just keep in mind, if you do own a Steam Deck, just because Valve is saying the game is unsupported has nothing to do whatsoever with if the game is going to work. I can guarantee a lot of these games play perfectly. Actually play really, really well. And I don't understand. I don't understand at all why it's like this. <laughs> but someone, someone during the rating system decided, yes, this is how it's going to be rated. And this is what I want to do. One thing I wish they did make public is not the criteria for what makes it a play or a playable not makes it a verified game the criteria it needs to meet to make it fall into playable or unsupported because as i mentioned those games from the criteria that i've seen i would mark them as playable but does it have to meet like half the criteria does it have to meet like three quarters like how much does it need to meet and how much are the different criteria weighted like is Smaller text weighted more than um, graphical settings out of the box. Is graphical settings out of the box weighted more than uh, text input? Like, how how is the scoring being done? Or is it just entirely arbitrary and based on whoever is doing the, uh, the testing at the time? Because right now, that's the, that's the way it seems to be. It seems to be just completely random... And just whatever happens, basically happens. 